I was been informing paper one and paper two. Paper one students got less marks. Paper two was okay. Paper one is about concepts. Paper two is about applications, examples, case studies. We will be having in paper two. So in paper one, what all we have? Unit wise, what all we have? Unit wise also, we will be discussing some important important terms. Maximum terms which we will be repeating also we will be discussing in this particular session. So, meaning, scope, and development of anthropology means first unit talks about what is the meaning, what is the scope, what is the nature, what are present in the anthropology is present in one point one. So, we will not do with the beginning like in our school from first unit to last unit we will not discuss. after completion of major part of anthropology we will come to this particular 1.1 why because you will be telling what is anthropology what is the scope of anthropology what is the nature of anthropology then number 2 relationship 1.2 relationship of anthropology with other disciplines 1.2 in your syllabus copy with sociology social science sociology behavioral science psychology life sciences biology medical science earth science humanities polity economy political science biology geology what is the relationship of anthropology with earth sciences archaeology what is the relationship of anthropology with geology for example paleolithic mesolithic neolithic this all comes under what geology geology means we will be studying in anthropology also so what is the relationship between this geology and anthropology this all relationship with other disciplines 1.2 then 1.3 sub branches of anthropology means what are the sub branches of anthropology for example in the sub branches of anthropology you have social science sorry sub branches of anthropology or main branches of anthropology we have socio cultural anthropology socio cultural anthropology means unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 unit 5 together is called as socio cultural anthropology means understanding culture understanding society understanding marriage understanding family understanding kinship understanding economic systems understanding political systems understanding this religion so what are all the part of culture what are all the part of socio cultural anthropology we will be discussing in the socio cultural anthropology which is a branch of anthropology so direct question will be there write about socio cultural anthropology or write about biological anthropology or write about archaeological anthropology or write about linguistic anthropology means relationship between anthropology and language relationship between anthropology and archaeology in sub branch what we discuss in archaeological anthropology what we discuss in socio cultural anthropology again as i told you socio cultural anthropology means 2 3 4 5 5 archaeological anthropology means 1.8 a 1.8 b of paper 1 and 1.3 of 1.2 of paper 2 that summary here socio cultural anthropology units summary linguistic anthropology unit number 7 summary biological anthropology or physical anthropology 9 10 11 summary so when we complete the syllabus after completion of syllabus in the last last 10 days of your syllabus i will be discussing this three socio cultural anthropology unit 1.1 unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 unit 5 unit 6 unit 7 unit 8 unit 9 unit 10 unit 11 unit 12 unit 13 unit 14 unit 15 unit 16 unit 17 unit 18 unit 19 unit 20 unit 21 unit 22 unit 23 unit 24 unit 25 unit 26 unit 27 unit 28 unit 29 unit 30 unit 31 unit 32 unit 33 unit 34 unit 35 unit 36 unit 37 unit 38 unit 39 unit 40 unit 41 unit 42 unit 43 unit 44 unit 45 unit 46 unit 47 unit 48 unit 49 unit 50 unit 51 unit 52 unit 53 unit 54 unit 55 unit 56 unit 57 unit 58 unit 59 unit 60 unit 61 unit 62 unit 63 unit 64 unit 65 unit 66 unit 67 unit 68 unit 69 unit 70 unit 71 unit 72 unit 73 unit 74 unit 75 unit 76 unit 77 unit 78 unit 79 unit 80 unit 81 unit 82 unit 83 unit 84 unit 85 unit 86 unit 87 unit 88 unit 89 unit 90 unit 91 unit 92 unit 93 unit 94 unit 95 unit 96 unit 97 archaeological anthropology means i understood this in this way sub branches or branches of anthropology evolution and emergence of man again see we will think this human evolution or how the man evolved will be very much complex this is very much complex to understand nothing will be there we will have one person called as darwin Darwin is a person who had written the book called as Theory of Organic Evolution or Theory of Evolution. Before Darwin, how they believed, like God was there, like Christianity believe or Chinese beliefs or Hinduism beliefs, which is called as pre-Darwinian. Then Darwin person will come. His approach of how evolution happened. Then post Darwin, science, how man evolved biologically, how man evolved genetically. so in that way we will be understanding pre darwinian darwinian and post darwin theory just simple according to 
panchabhutas this is the factor which is responsible for evolution of man according to chinese this is a factor which is responsible for evolution of man according to mopparitus this is a factor which is responsible for evolution of man one one theory one one line will be there that is pre darwinian darwin will tell there is something called as natural selection nature will select some traits in man for his evolution so man will be evolving so the man evolution is because of nature nature will be selecting the evolutionary process so evolution happened then post darwin science so a darwins before darwins after darwins so here if you see pre darwin darwin and post darwin there are some terms with respect to evolution dole's rule cope's rule gauss rule parallelism convergence mosaic evolution adaptive radiation so each concept will be of two two lines this is mosaic evolution this is adaptive radiation this is parallelism this is convergence this is dole's rule this is cope's rule like fact that is the reason the people will get more marks when they answer this uh, evolutionary pattern or evolutionary trends oh dole's rule man when he evolve in particular direction his evolution will be reversible means i evolved from quadrupedal then knuckle walking then bipedal then erect posture you tell me whether it is again i can go to knuckle walking quadrupedal no evolution is irreversible once it is been happened when the evolution is happened it cannot be reversed this is a concept which is given by dole so in that way how is the evolutionary trends according to dole according to cop according to gauss according to parallelism according to convergence according to mosaic evolution according to adaptive radiation like this if i ask what is cop's rule sir irreversibility evolution is irreversibility according to gauss competitive exclusion principle you will also believe you tell me on the earth whether the resources are limited or abundant limited like food mating water land trees for animals for everything the resources are limited but the species are more but the species are more now you tell me when two species are there and only one resource is there if only one species can eat this resource or one species can use this resource then compulsory there will be competition between both of them or not so in this competition who will survive who is fit will survive the person who is fit he will destroy another species and this species will competitive exclusion principle is true 900 posts are there or 1000 posts are there 10 lakh applications are there who will survive competitive exclusion principle in everything in every resource in every 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 evolutionary pattern there will be competitive exclusion process in evolution also there will be competitive exclusion process yes true what he told is 100% true so in that way we will be understanding emergence of evolution of man trend then primates we believe that we came from monkey no we didn't came from monkey we didn't came from chimpanzee also we didn't came from primates we didn't came from orangutan we didn't came from gorilla but there is something called as primate in primate there will be greater apes there will be lesser apes there will be hominoid we are hominoid so our ancestors are who primates that we will be understanding how our evolution happened how we came from primates what is that line what is that line then how we are related to chimpanzee how we are related to gorilla how we are related to orangutan that we will be discussing in 1.5 relationship between man and primates apes technically we have to call primates generally we call it as apes how we are related to primates so 1.5 is what so in your after your class you go to, you went to a reading room and your friend asked you what you understood today after listening to the class what your vishnu sir told today i understood one thing 
1.1, 1.23 is about understanding the word called as anthropology and the branches of anthropology. 1.4 is the theories with respect to evolution of man. 1.5 with respect to how man is related with primates. So, how we are related to primates. In the same way, after the completion of course, you will come to a conclusion, oh, oh, I am related to chimpanzee like this, I am related to orangutan like this, I am related to gorilla like this, I am related to baboon like this and I am not from monkey and I am not from chimpanzee, but I am from primates. I am from primates. So, there will be evolutionary sequence, we have to remember that evolutionary diagram. 1.6, listen carefully. Pylogenetic status, see, do not think what is this term, sir. Pylogenetic status. Pylogenetic status is nothing but a family tree, evolutionary line, how I got evolved. You are Homo sapiens now. That status, pylogenetic status, how I evolved, who am I, who is my ancestor, who is my great ancestor, who is my great great ancestor, that particular status, that particular cycle, that particular tree is called as phylogenetic status. Now, you got the meaning of the term called as phylogenetic status. In that particular tree, where you put? So, there is something called as Australopithecus. Man evolved before only, but man came to a conclusion with evidence that we, our ancestor is Australopithecus, five million years ago. Five million years ago means fifty lakhs years ago. One million, ten lakhs, fifty lakhs years ago, Australopithecus. So A is what Australopithecus in Africa. Then after what happened from 5 million year time period understand this, 5 million years ago it will reduce or it will increase as we come down, as we come to human being. 5 million years ago it will reduce, 5 million years ago to 1.6 million years ago another man came called as Homo erectus. So, you tell me compared to 5 million years ago when I am coming down my bodily changes will be advanced or backward advanced. So, Homo erectus, erect, Homo erectus, erect, straight, means what? Australopithecines is not erectus, Australopithecines is knuckle walker or bend in forward, but when we came to Homo erectus, we are erect. When we are erect, whether I will walk on four legs or whether I will walk on, I will walk on two legs, Homo erectus, 1.6 million years ago. Then I came down more, up to 0 .0 0 0.4 million years ago, 0 0.2 million years ago, Neanderthal. Neanderthal, whether my body will become more advanced or backward? More advanced, Neanderthal, C. So, B, Homo erectus. In this, you have Paranthropus, Homo erectus, Heidelbergensis. Homo erectus javanicus, Homo erectus pecanensis, again see, means what? These are all varieties of Homo erectus. One is African variety Homo erectus, other is Asian variety Homo erectus. Java, javanicus, Java which country? Indonesia, means that Homo erectus variety is present where? Indonesia. Homo erectus pecanensis, pecanensis China, Chinese word. China man was also present. Homo erectus. So, first we understand Homo erectus timeline, then where this man was being present with different names, then time went on from 1.6 million years ago to 0 0.2 million years ago. 0 0.2 million years ago means 2 lakhs, 0 0.2 million years ago means 2 lakhs, 2 lakhs years Neanderthal man came, Neanderthal man came, started living in caves, up to now he was been roaming outside. He started living in caves because temperature got reduced. When temperature got reduced, he cannot stay. Why? Because cold. And the Homo erectus man in Java, Homo erectus man in China got died. Homo erectus heidelbergensis means European variety was only survived and that Homo erectus heidelbergensis European variety evolved into Neanderthal in Europe. In Europe, temperature will be more or less 
less. So, he cannot be on bare land. So, for his protection, for shelter, where he has to live? Caves. Neanderthal. Then after Neanderthal 0.2 million years ago, 40,000 years ago, we came into existence who is called as Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. In that again varieties are there, Cro-Magnon, Grimaldi, Chancellady. How varieties are based upon the physical feature? One person age height will be 6 feet, another person height will be 5 feet. One person teeth will be protruding outside, another person teeth will be inside. So, based upon this feature, physical features, we will be naming them, we will be giving identity. Then we come for dating methods. Then we come for dating methods. 1.6. But where is 1.7? 1.7 is biological basis of cell that we will do in physical anthropology. 1.8. Archaeology, which you will study in your history also. Paleolithic. Again easy, paleo, old, lithic means stone, old stone, meso, middle, middle stone age, neo means new, new stone age, chalco, copper, copper stone age means what? Minerals came, non-lithic which is called as non-lithic or non-stones came into existence, copper is a non-stone. Copper Bronze Age, Iron Age. So, how man was here? What he used for his survival? Who was the man here? What he used for his survival? Who was the man here? What he used for survival? What he used for survival means? I have to kill the animal, then only I can survive. Hunting, gathering. When I want to kill the animals, with what I will kill? Stones, tools, weapons. Tools it is called as. So, what type of tools I have? You tell me with your common sense. Advanced tools will be with Paleolithic or Neolithic. So, what are the tools which are present in Neolithic? What are all the tools which are present with Paleolithic? So, by common sense, the tools which are present in Paleolithic are backward. The tools which are present in Paleolithic are rugged, rough. The tools which are present in Neolithic are sophisticated, complex. Simplified, less in weight, sharper, thick, lesser in weight. Weight will be lessing or not? In that way, we will be understanding the Paleolithic life, Mesolithic life, Neolithic life, Chalcolithic life, Copper Bronze Age life and Iron Age. Then culture, nature of culture, socio culture anthropology. Now, what we study in here? Concept and characteristics of culture and civilization means culture definition, civilization definition. Characteristics of culture, characteristics of civilization. What are present in culture? What are present in civilization? What is civilization? As of now, you should get this doubt. Sir, culture, civilization, civilization is technology. Culture is way of life. Culture is very, very important. Why? Because I will be serious. Culture means what? My religion, my language, my way of living, my belief system. Civilization means what? Advancement, technology. I will use some tools, I will use some techniques, I will use some technology to make my life easy, which is called as civilization. Writing, civilization. Machines, civilization. Transport and communication, civilization. What is difference between culture and civilization? There is concept called as ethnocentrism, culture relativism. Ethnocentrism means we people are great, our culture is great. We are English people. We, there is a white man's burden on our head. You black people, you African and Asian people, you are uncivilized people. There is a burden, we have to civilize you. That is the reason we came near you. There is a concept called as white man's burden. White man will tell, it's a burden for me. I colonized you. You are uncivilized people, so I came near you and I am civilizing you. If not, you people are fit for nothing. Ethnocentrism. That is called as ethnocentrism. Culture relativism, opposite to ethnocentrism. Hey man, who are you to tell me that I am uncivilized? This is my culture. This is my way of life. You have your way of life, I have my way of life. So, two cultures should not be compared. Who will be telling? Culture relativism. But ethnocentrism, what it will tell? It will compare. When we compare, there will be superiority and inferiority. Hence, it is called as ethnocentrism. 2.1. So, as an anthropologist, what you have to tell? Culture relativism. Do not compare two cultures. Why? Because every culture is unique in its context. Yes or no? Islamic culture is unique for Islam. 
Hindu culture is unique for Hindu. Christian culture is unique for Christian. Every culture have their own beliefs, customs, way of living. Who is telling? 2.2. Society, concepts of society, society and culture. We think society and culture is same. Society means integration of people. Culture means when the people are integrated, compulsory when people come together, there is a chance for fighting. Why? Because every man is a vested interest man. Every man is a self-interest man. Every man want to aggrandize himself. So, compulsory there will be conflict with another man. So, if conflict should not be there means what I have to devise? Some rules and regulations, some beliefs, some customs, some traditions like this only you have to be, Sampradayalu, like this only you have to be. Then what will happen? Conflict will be less than or more. So, means in every society there will be culture. In every society, in a happy society there will be a culture. In peaceful society there will be a culture. That is the interrelationship between the society and technically we will do anthropologist name, who told, what they told, this is the crux, but we will add anthropologist name. Social institution, social group, social stratification, three cons. Marriage, what is endogamy? Marriage within the group is called as endogamy, exogamy. Marriage outside the group is called as exogamy, for example, whether we will marry within the nuclear family or we will marry outside the nuclear family outside the nuclear family, exogamy, whether we will marry within the caste or outside the caste, within the caste, endogamy, these all are what? Loss, chattalu, loss of marriage, what our people will do, hey, if you are marrying outside the caste, see what I will do, honor killing, in sumo the people will come with all knives rotating, honor killing, Why? because there are loss of marriage for every, for every society, there is no society which does not have Loss of marriage. Every society have. Why? Because marriage is a sacred phenomenon. What are those? Endogamy, exogamy, hypergamy, hypogamy, insist taboo. Types of marriage, monogamy, one boy, one girl. Polygamy, one boy, multiple girls or multiple girls, one boy. Polyandry, group marriages, multiple boys and multiple girls. Which society? Where example? With examples, with Supreme Court judgments we will be doing, with anthropologist names. Living relationship also we will be discussing here. Yes, it is a new form of, modern form of marriage. What Supreme Court told with respect to living relationship, we will be discussing here. Recent issue of marriage within the LGBT community is legal or not? Why the marriages of LGBT community is not registered? They are asking our marriage also, please register it. You made it decriminalized, I accept it is a very good thing. LGBTs are now not criminalized. Earlier they are criminalized under which section? Section? Online people, tell me the answer. Section, very good, Dhanasri, 377. Under section 377, criminalization, now decriminalized. But you are not punishing me, then why you are not allowing me to marry my own boy when there is a gay or lesbian, why my own girl when I am a lesbian? This is new current affair. Homo, homosexuals, why marriage between the homosexuals are not allowed? What is the intention of Supreme Court? What BJP government is telling? What communist people are telling? What anthropologists are telling? This in exam we will get. Contemporary relevance, current affair, sex, living relationship also went out. It happened last 4-5 years back only. Now what is the trend? Marriage among the homosexuals. When you are decriminalizing it and 50% of the countries in the world are accepting the marriage between the homosexual people, why not India? Sacred. Why not India? You are telling India is a democracy, is a people wish. Right to sexual orientation is Article 21 of the Constitution. Is right to life and liberty. It is right to privacy under Puttaswami judgment. Then why you are not allowing the marriage between the same sex people? There are some rules that we will be discussing. So, we will tell now current affairs, how to link like this current affairs we have to link. Honor killing is finished. Kaap panchayats in Haryana. That also finished. Kangaroo courts. That also finished. Live in relationship. That also finished. Now, like that we have to catch it from the newspaper. How it will come? The question will be with respect to types of marriage. In this you have to add, there is a demand for a type of marriage among the same sex people. The same sex people are followed in 50% of the countries in the world, mainly in the western world. Then why not India? Nas Foundation had filed a public interest litigation in Supreme Court and the case is pending in Supreme Court with respect to acceptance of same-sex marriages. 
your opinion whether it should be accepted or not you tell me yes right to life and liberty or right to sexual orientation or right to privacy it's it's right to body it's my body these all things these all context we have to take endogamy functions of marriage what is the functions of marriage biological function number 1 biological function the sexual gratification is legally accepted societally accepted biological function social function new relations will be existing between the husband and wife spouse family new relations new society new relatives came or not new relatives will come culture the child who got between the wife and husband the child will be given enculturation who will be giving the culture mother and father how mother and father became by marriage economical relationship division of labor you go out you bring hen i will stay at home i will nicely cut and i will prepare for you division of labor i am also doing my work if same work if i do in five star hotel i will get 5 lakhs per month i am doing free so the division of labor you are going outside you will get only 50000 but i will get 5 lakhs proper division economic functions so what are the functions of marriage marriage regulations marriages are regulated how preferential prescriptive proscriptive marriage payments bride wealth dowry not only this several types of marriages are there like sister marriage probationary marriage for some days they will stay together if they are good then only they will be married probationary marriage marriage by trial will be there there will be a sacred pole unmarried girls will be surrounding it unmarried boys will be surrounding it these unmarried boys will break this chain of unmarried girls and they will climb the pole on the pole there will be grease on the top of the pole there will be jaggery the person who climb it and who take the jaggery he will have the right to choose any girl who is there a type of marriage a type of marriage payment a variety of marriage so in this way marriage 2.4 family what is the definition of family family means what what is the universality of family there is family household and domestic groups again types of families from structure point of view nuclear family joint family blood relation point of view marriage point of view where you stay after your marriage residence point of view succession point of view whether property shared from the father or property shared from the mother matrilineal society patrilineal society matrilineal society from mother, mother. patrilineal society is from father example in meghalaya kasi tribal community the property is shared among the women now boys are asking there they filed a petition also in meghalaya court why only girls should game whereas in mainstream india now hindu succession act is there where girls are also getting 50% of then why not in kasi tribal community why only in kasi tribal community only girls will get only daughters will get why not sons current affair impact of urbanization industrialization feminist movements on family kinship system very very important relatives relationships relatives how the relatives come into existence the first relatives are who consanguinity blood relations who are our first relatives who are our first kinship father mother brother sister then who is second who marriage affinal which is called as affinity by marriage husband or wife affinity this is very very basic every man will have relatives from two sides one by blood another by marriage tell me any other relationship relatives other than this two think other than this two any type of kinships one is blood relations my father said relatives my mother said relatives also my relatives yes or no another relatives through my spouse any other any other no only two varieties technically naturally but you will write nowadays adoptions are happening nowadays adoptions are happening we can take the example of angelina julie you can take the example of susmita roy 
who didn't got it, who didn't got married but they got married they got adopted number 1 number 2 who are not related by blood but still they got the relatives by surrogacy by surrogacy advanced that is current affairs how we link so when person is when your evaluator is answering you are is evaluating your answer oh so practical he may not only mention everyone mentioned about consanguinity and affinity but she is mentioning about what adoptions she is mentioning about what surrogacy test tube baby sperm and ova will be taken so it is also blood relation but surrogacy we completely we put in third mother third person the child born to the third person will be the child of ours a new type of kinship surrogacy forms of descent there are different forms of descent kinship terminologies descriptive classificatory how we call them how the relatives are there varieties are there he descriptive classificatory descent filiation complementary filiation descent and alliance descent means how i am tracing my ancestor is called as descent alliance or affinity means same whom i am going to marry is called as alliance so two types of kinships will be there one will be descent other will be alliance this is what we will be studying in detail so in the first day you are understanding the syllabus of paper one similarly after the paper one again one day i will take complete paper to syllabus so that you will know what you are going to read first we have to know the syllabus i know no one look look put into the syllabus i am i am making you to see the syllabus forcefully economic organizations economic organizations which is called as the principles of economics in simple societies simple societies means tribal societies are called as simple societies remember this blindly whenever i use the word simple society means it means tribal societies whenever i use the word complex societies means it is mainstream society modern societies economics in modern societies is called as economics economics in simple society is called as economic anthropology did you got economic concepts in simple society is called as economic anthropology economic in complex societies is called as economics so whenever you are using the word economics means you are studying the economics of complex societies whenever you use the word economic anthropology means you are doing the economics of there is a popular debate formalist and substantivist formalist means complex society economic systems substantivist means simple society economic systems there will be debate or not for example one example i will tell you kung bushman of kalahari desert of africa a tribal community called as kung bushman they go for hunt in groups four members they will form a group and they go for hunting dry desert they will get no animal they travel for 20 kilometers they travel for 2 3 days then they will get one animal already they are hungry 2 3 days yes or no what we will do first let us eat first let us eat after our stomach is full we will carry it and we will give to we will go to give to our family members when we go to defense center early morning 9 o'clock your roommate or someone told to bring parcel in parcel the chutney will be less no i will eat there only then i can put two times chutney so i will eat there and i will bring for you but kung bushman after 3 days they are hungry when they get hunt again they will carry their hunt and they again travel two days they will go to their community and give the hunt to the community and they will eat with the community means no importance for self there is no self interest there is what interest community interest no selfishness community interest their community is important that is called as substantivist economy formalist economy first let me eat then let me hide something then i will give to the people who are good to me first then later on nothing is there i will i didn't got anything this is which economy formalist economy so in this way we will be understanding 
फॉर्मलिस्ट एंड सब्सटैंडिस्ट इकोनॉमी प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ गवर्निंग प्रोडक्शन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड एक्सचेंज रेसिप्रोसिटी कॉन्सेप्ट रेसिप्रोसिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड मार्केट देर आर इकोनॉमिक सब्सिस्टेंस लाइक हंटिंग एंड गैदरिंग फिशिंग स्विडनिंग स्विडनिंग मीन शिफ्टिंग कल्टिवेशन पैस्टोरलिज्म मीन्स मिल्चिंग एनिमल्स ब्रीडिंग ऑफ एनिमल्स रेयरिंग ऑफ एनिमल्स लाइक बफेलोज गोट्स कैमल्स आर पैस्टोरलिज्म हॉर्टिकल्चर फ्रूट्स फ्लवर्स वेजिटेबल्स हॉर्टिकल्चर यानामामोस ऑफ ब्राजील आर हॉर्टिकल्चर एग्रीकल्चर ग्लोबलाइजेशन एंड इंडिजिनस इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम हाउ ग्लोबलाइजेशन एज इंपैक्टेड इंडिजिनस इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम वन मोर एग्जाम्पल आई मिलते Chenchus of Nallamalla Hills of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, South India. They are very famous for basket making, bamboo baskets. If you remember bamboo baskets, in our home when we make snacks, snacks once upon a time we put all snacks in where bamboo baskets. Now are you able to see bamboo baskets now? Are you able to see bamboo baskets? No. Once upon a time they used to sell everywhere bamboo baskets. Now we cannot see bamboo baskets. Why? who dominated bamboo baskets plastic plastic baskets plastic is what re result of globalization but bamboo is what indigenous economic system chenchu tribal community bamboo from the forest and they used to make baskets so because of globalization how indigenous economic system got impacted that we will be discussing here third unit so mainly what's our third unit that deals about economics of simple society and economics of fourth unit political organization and social control band tribe chiefdom kingdom state level our our is state level or tribe level our is kingdom or state level state level means what evolution so first it was band level then it became tribe level then it became chiefdom level then it became kingdom level finally evolution or not in the first class i also told evolution see here first it was hunting gathering then fishing then swedening then pastoralism horticulture agriculture now evolution of economics evolution of political then religion politics control the people economics control the people but people are not controlled they want something big which can control the people they want something big which can control the people that is what religion who is on the top he will be looking everyone he doesn't have any other work looking everyone whether they are worshiping or not whether they are breaking coconut or not whether they are doing namaz or not whether they are going every sunday church or not everyone every person have the same they have a fear if i do any mistake someone is watching no one is there in the room but still we believe that someone is watching who is that super powerful so man is controlled man is controlled that particular the super powerful device is religion unquestionable power is religion opium for the masses is religion it is the opium for the masses go our one religion person got beatings yes chalo opium for the masses religion karl marx told anthropological approach so what are the approaches to the religion evolutionary approach how religion evolved anthropological approach functional approach psychological approach structural approach not only three another two i will tell you evolutionary psychological functional structural and anthropological approach monotheism polytheism monotheism single god polytheism multiple god different varieties are there in monotheism different varieties are there polytheism will feel lot of interest this many gods are there i don't know monotheism and polytheism sacred and profane when we are in the temple premises we will be very very sacred as we are coming out we will become profane profane means practical we will search for chapel ah uh, someone took my chapel as we are going out up to now how much sacred we are as we are leaving 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 we will become what profane profane means not non sacred profane means being practical yes 
bits and rituals forms of religion animism animatism different different forms animism animatism fetishism naturism totemism religion magic and science magico religious functionaries priest shaman medicine man sorcerer and witch so different varieties of religions we will be discussing in unit number 5 i will be starting from monday your classes 7 am to 9 am from monday and the first topic first lecture already i post yes yes i have to tell you i had posted lot of information in your telegram i send you one dictionary a glossary anthropological glossary i send you into the enrolled official anthropology june 2023 batch today morning i send you all the previous years questions from 1995 to 2022 i send you the proper model answers of 2021 and 2022 i send you the first unit of anthropological thought notes pdf also so that you will be ready by monday check your telegram channel i will be starting with this why sir anthropological thought why because you will get more marks when you use anthropologist names in every answer remember this means we have to be very much perfect with respect to which unit anthropological so in the beginning you will be so much motivated so i want to cash it by making you perfect in i know after one month what will happen you will get fever first and after that fever will continue till one month the fever will not get but once fever starts no again for every four days fever will get sir fever sir why you didn't wrote exam sir fever someone told this health problem is no one will tell anything first classical evolutionism i will start these are the first anthropologists taylor morgan james fraser then historical particularism franz boas who is called as hero scholar philosopher friend of american anthropology franz boas diffusionism three schools will be there british school of diffusionism german school of diffusionism american school of diffusionism very very interesting what they told how culture evolved according to them how religion evolved according to them how kinship evolved according to them how they protected tribal lives franz boas protected tribal languages how the next person big man will come malinovsky he will tell culture will exist till that time it is satisfying the needs of man till that time it is satisfying the needs of man for example in india marriage is successful in america marriage is unsuccessful so people are not serious with respect to marriage in america but people are serious with respect to marriage in india why people had a bond that there is a sacred thread there is a marriage happened people came to know so we have to stay together in spite of dislike also they try to compromise they try to compromise why because marriage is sacred phenomenon so marriage is evolving but what happened in america they are practical it is the people who are important not the marriage bond so marriage relationship is falling down so that particular culture try to will evolve till it is satisfying the needs of the man there without needs of the man also it is satisfying the needs so they are not bothered about marriage Yes, sir. Like, for example, in India, according to the report, eighty-five percent of the people will be waiting for marriage for the sexual relationship. So they are waiting. Once the marriage has been happened, their biological needs are satisfied. So they are happy with the marriage. In America, in the same context, the number of people marrying for the marriage for the sexual relationship is very less. They are into the sexual relationship before marriage, so they don't they don't give importance for marriage. So it is function point of view, importance of marriage point of view. That is the reason the marriage as a culture is very very serious in India when compared to America or Western world. that is called as functionalism every culture will exist if it is satisfying the that we will be discussing in functionalism 
then structural functionalism. He will tell that, hey, you Melnovsky, what you are talking, man? Everything is not function. Everything is not purpose. For example, father and son is there. If father is not paying the fees for the son or daughter, means father is not doing his function. Whether the bond of father and son will break down, whether the structure of father and son will break down or will continue. Structural functionalism. In spite of function, the structure will. R. C. Brown will correct Malnovsky. It is also chronology. A not man, structure, function, both are important, and structure is more important than function. But Malnovsky will tell functions are important. Pur purpose is important. Structuralism. Levi Strauss and Edmund Leach. Structuralism. Levi Strauss and Edmund Leach. Structures are important. Structures are important. Structuralism. Bonds are important, not the functions. Again, they tell the same. Culture, personality, school. How every man have a personality in the same way, every culture have a personality, yes or no? You tell me, 85 percent population of India believe that India is secular. 85 percent age of the people in India believes in Vasudeva Kutumbakam. 85 percent of the people in India or Indian culture thinks that everyone should stay peacefully. So, how individual will have the personality in the same way, the culture or the society will also have a personality. So, it is not the individual personality, there is culture also will be having a personality. Who told you that India is secular? Our culture told. So, we also have. So, culture will influence the personality. Everyone is having the same personality. It will become the personality of the culture. Yes or no? Talibani, everyone will believe that woman should not come out of the house and if she comes completely, she should be closed. Everyone will believe. So, it became the culture of Taliban. Yes or no? So, individual, individual personality will influence the culture and culture personality also influence that we will be discussing in culture personality school. Lot of examples, tribal examples, real examples. New evolutionism, how evolution happened? This is what? This is what? Old school of evolutionism, new school of evolution. Culture materialism, this person, Marvin Harris, very radical man. Hey, you people up to now, what you told are nothing. Everything is material. For example, if I wear complete patana and if I come and tell classes, whether you will understand my culture or not. So, everything is material oriented. If a person, both are sitting together and one person is eating with beef and another person is eating with another food. If a person is eating with beef, another person will go away. We can understand which, which, from which culture he is. Food means what? Food is material or non-material? Material. If a person is having a soft run cap, if a person is having a white cap, whether he will come to a conclusion or not, what is his culture or not? If a person is having a tailsman, a thread, whether he will come to a conclusion is culture or not? So, culture is embedded in what? Materials. That is culture with examples. Symbolic symbols, cultures are symbols, cognitive symbols, cultures are present in the minds of the people and finally, postmodernism. What is today's thought with respect to evolution of culture is postmodern. Now you tell me, just today's outcome. I believe that for every class there should be an outcome. What is outcome? Tell me what are the school names? First one, classical evolutionism. Second one, historical particularism. Third one, diffusionism. Fourth one, functionalism. Fifth one, structural functionalism. Sixth one, structuralism. Seventh one, Culture personality school, eighth one new evolutionism, ninth one culture materialism, eleventh one symbolic and interpretative theories, eleventh one cognitive theories, twelfth one. If this twelve theories are in your mind, finish anthropology is in your pocket. You are not in anthropology pocket, anthropology is in your pocket. This twelve theories, yes or no online? 
one one school i will discuss one one hour sometimes three hours functionalism will take three hours not this much easy how i told functionalism will take three hours two classes i will take and i will make you to repeat again how many schools are there number one classical evolutionism historical particularism diffusionism functionalism structural functionalism structuralism culture personality school neo evolutionism culture materialism symbolic and interpretative theories cognitive theories finally post modernism repeat 12 times this 12 whether i understood classical evolution tick mark whether i understood historical but tick mark whether i understood diffusionism tick mark finish completed culture language and communication i told you linguistic anthropology unit 7 nature origin and characteristics of language every communication will have two communications verbal communication and non verbal communication verbal communication what i am doing non verbal communication what i am doing gestures communication is successful when there is proper verbal and non verbal sir no? yes. if i just like classical evolutionism historical particularism diffusionism <laughs> that is verbal communication ups interview as you sat and he is asking sir 10th class failed sir means we cannot express verbal communication so communication is a combination of verbal and non verbal why you want to become if interviewer is asking in ups interview dolpur house delhi why you want to become an ias officer sir i will get 5 crore dowry sir you should tell that all <laughs> means is communication is not verbal communication communication is what combination of verbal and there are a lot of people rotating in ashoknagar waiting for marriage not for girl if they get rank their demand will increase girls if you don't want to pay the dowry if you want a bride price bride price means giving for the bride then you should get rank research methodology field work traditions in anthropology where where they did field work these all theories gave from where from doing field works from doing field works distinction between technique method and methodology what type of method you have what type of methodology you have what type of technique you have tools of data collection observation interview schedules questionnaire case study genealogy history secondary analysis everything with respect to how we do field works research methods in anthropology simple tools of how many you see this is in this eighth unit the c is very very important how many are there tell me tools of data collection observation interview schedule questionnaire case study genealogy life history oral history secondary source of information participatory method how many are there 10 first one observation second one interview third one questionnaire fourth one schedule fifth one life history sixth one oral history seventh one genealogy eighth one case studies ninth one secondary source of information tenth one participatory methods these are what what is the topic when i am observing whether the data is collected or not when i am doing interview whether the tool is whether the data is collected or not questionnaire when i give you a question and you you write answer and submit me whether the data is collected or not schedule when i ask you question and you are answering i am writing answer whether the data is collected or not case study i took the example of mahatma gandhi that case study i am explaining whether you are getting data or not oral history there is a komaram beam oral history whether you are getting data or not life history the discovery of jawala pandit jawalalal nehru whether you are getting data or not so this is tools of data collection so what are all the tools which are there for collection of data is 10 compulsory one question will be there 10 marker damn sure from this 10 first you have to understand what is that observation then you have to go deeper 
ఫస్ట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ లేమంటారు ఓహో దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ అ షెడ్యూల్ దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ అస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఎయర్ దెన్ హౌ మెనీ వెరైటీస్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఎయర్స్ ఆర్ దర్ హూ హ్యాడ్ డివైజ్డ్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఎయర్ ఎస్ఆర్ నో ఆన్లైన్ ఎయిట్ యూనిట్స్ వీ కంప్లీటెడ్ ఎయిట్ యూనిట్స్ నైన్త్ యూనిట్ హ్యూమన్ జెనెటిక్స్ మెండేలియన్ జెనెటిక్స్ జెనెటిక్ పాలిమార్ఫిజం క్రోమోజోమ్ అండ్ క్రోమోజోమ్ ఎలబరేషన్స్ ఇయర్ నథింగ్ నైన్ పాయింట్ వన్ పెడిగ్రీ అనాలసిస్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ రొటేట్స్ అరౌండ్ పెడిగ్రీ అనాలసిస్ పెడిగ్రీ అనాలసిస్ మీన్స్ father is having genetical disease mother is not having genetical disease what is the chance of occurrence of genetical disease in the baby that we will be discussing probability not science mathematics father is not having disease mother is having disease what is the probability of getting disease now father is a carrier carrier means the disease causing gene is present in me but it is not showing expression but it is present in me father is having a carrier gene mother is also having carrier gene but both of they don't know that they are having disease why because it is not showing its expression physical expression but they got married both so carrier carrier both combined together now child is suffering they got shocked are i don't have this disease she doesn't have disease but that we will be studying in pedigree analysis so how to stop such sort of probabilities as an anthropologist you will be advising them recommending them by checking what genome 23 pairs of chromosomes whether that gene carrying chromosome the disease gene carrying chromosome is present on your chromosome or not the disease occurring gene is present in your chromosome or not if it is present then you will tell hey babu you don't get married man if you get married unnecessarily the child will get suffered if still you want to get marry you get marry but don't give birth to children who will tell anthropologist 9.1 not biology mathematics if you have fear for mathematics then you should not this is not biology mathematics sir i don't know mathematics then you should not take anthropology if you are biology compulsory you have to if you are not from biology it is not related to biology it is mathematics 9.2 mendelian genetics you studied in your 10th class same syllabus is present here mendelian genetics 10th and 11th class you will study mendelian genetics what he will do he had lot of time why because there is no tvs no if not he used to spend time on watching tv changing the remote there is no tv so what he did he took a pea plant one is tall pea plant seed another dwarf tea plant seed tv current went power is not there mobile phone charging completed for mendel what to do so he went to a pea plant he took a pea plant seed he went to a dwarf pea plant he took a dwarf seed then he put in the mixture and nicely he mixed then he got an output then he put in the soil then current came then again he went for a tv after two months again current went then again he came then he saw the pea plant all are tall trees he got shocked are in that seed tall is present dwarf is present then it should be combination of both or it 50% should be tall or 50% should be dwarf but everything are tall how it happened it shocked him then he throwed the tv mobile phone and started studying about why it happened then what he did again that resultant tall tree seed he took another seed he took again he mixed again he kept in a new soil then again shocking he can see tall trees and dwarf trees means in the first generation no dwarf but in second generation how it came that is mendelian genetics then he started understanding applying on man whether we can apply it on man or not whether it is only for plants that we will be doing here concept of genetic polymorphism concept of genetic polymorphism best example i will tell you you only know once upon a time when we got a fever 
or a throat infection we got we used to use azithromycin everyone almost everyone azithromycin or i remember when i in 10th class mine 10th class or 11th class when i get fever if i take one paracetamol immediately i used to be all right but now after four paracetamols also nothing is happening means what means just an example or antibiotic i took a antibiotic i took so earlier when i take antibiotic the bacteria used to die now what happened the bacteria is becoming resistant to antibiotic means bacteria is becoming resistant to antibiotic means bacteria is changing its dna sir no for what purpose it is changing its dna very good for its survival genetic polymorph multiple morphs it is getting changed for what purpose survival purpose man homo erectus man he used to live up to 40 degree centigrade when the environment got changed and when neanderthal in europe he could not stay of it when the temperature got reduced he went into caves and started living he went into rock shelters and started living means he could not adapt then slowly slowly his genes got changed and got adapted to means genetics are getting changed or not for the sake of survival that we will be studying in genetic polymorph why we are unable to make disease one you tell me one common sense up to now you should get this question people made virus for rubella measles covid also got virus covid also got vaccines aids everyone know aids from your childhood you are listening aids i am from my childhood i am listening aids then why there is no vaccination for aids covid within one year they discovered the vaccination then why not for aids virus is abundantly changing the virus dna is rna is changing very 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 quickly rampantly whatever vaccine we are making it is becoming changed means whatever challenge you are giving it is accepting the challenge and is changing that we will be discussing here genetic polymorphism multiple morph multiple forms so it's about understanding 9.4 diseases numerical and structural aberration diseases what are all the diseases we have disorders klein filter syndrome turner syndrome super male super female for example y chromosomes are male chromosomes x chromosomes are female chromosomes in 23rd pair in 23rd pair xy then it is male 23rd pair if it is xx it is female super female means xx one extra x chromosome super female he will be more she will be more feminine xy one more y he will be more aggressive why because that y male chromosome is extra so based upon the presence of that extra chromosome there will be occurrence of disease that number we will be reading oh ho one x chromosome this disease absence of one x chromosome this disease presence of this one y chromosome this disease and symptoms down syndrome patau syndrome edward syndrome try to chat turner syndrome klein filter super male super female gynandromorph symptoms race and racism how casteism is a problem disease in india in western world racism is a disease in western world we compare it casteism of india with racism of western world how this racism evolved what is race how many types of races are there 9.5 9.6 blood groups blood enzymes body fat what are there in my body 9.7 very very interesting ecological anthropology when i am staying in cold temperature how i am adapting when i am in hot temperature how i am adapting when i am in high altitude how i am adapting epidemiological anthropology two types of diseases will be there one will be infectious disease other will be non infectious disease one will be communicable disease other will be non communicable what are communicable disease what are non communicable diseases remember the names symptoms remember the names symptoms such type of questions will come in prelims or not add current affairs whatever you are reading in science and technology add here you will be reading compulsory disease in science and technology no add here monkey pox new disease came marburg virus disease new disease came marburg 
lumps skin disease came for buffaloes add here tomato disease like tomato it will become world health organization told this tomato flu disease as a world panacea world disease pandemic add this new new disease tenth human growth and development like prenatal mother's womb prenatal mother's womb coming out from mother's womb natal infant childhood adolescent maturity senescence means old people and factors affecting growth and development what are the factors genetic environmental biochemical nutritional cultural socio economical aging and senescence old age by chronology old age because of tissues decomposition is yes or no some people will be there at 30 years only they will look very very old some people at 60 year also they look very young so irrespective of age if they are looking old it is called as senescence with respect to age they are looking old is called as aging that means biological aging is called as senescence chronological aging is called as age same thing if you remember this you got relevance of menarche onset of menstruation the people the girls who are healthy their menarche will be somewhere around 11 to 12 years if the menarche onset of menstruation is 18 years we can tell that she is unhealthy menopause when the menstrual cycle come down when the menopause is up to 50 years she is too much healthy in menarche she can give birth but if menopause is 30 years she is unhealthy so what are the factors genetical factors environmental factors biochemical means hormones biochemical factors nutrition nutritional factors cultural factors socio economic factors demographic there is biological social and cultural biological and socio ecological factors influencing fecundity fertility natality and mortality yes newborn baby what are the factors if death of the newborn baby what are the factors absence of institutional deliveries chance of death of baby is very very high when there is absence of institutional delivery institutional deliveries means deliveries in hospitals applications of anthropology application applications in sports applications in nutrition applications in defense applications in forensics applications in personal identification application in reconstruction of dead body application reconstruction application in paternity diagnosis application in genetic counseling application in eugenics dna technology in disease and medicine sero genetics and say, applications compulsory one question will be there how many topics are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 if you perfect in 12 topics no 30 marks in your pocket notes one one page will be there if you are reading across newspaper any point you came you add here that's it applications of completed paper one like this after four months again i will take revision class first unit all the topics i will give micro listing i will give you the micro listing of all the topics i will ask you one one day to one day unit one tell tell everyone should answer unit two fatta fat orally unit three unit four unit 12 when we tell orally you know answer writing something you we can answer and we can give evaluator will die oral means he is listening if you are tell something he will catch oral is dangerous answer means we can write and we will not write the name and we will give you will search for who is the person who had written the answer we will have oral revisions also this 12 units paper one completed paper one your paper one finished this all for example this i will take four classes four sessions 12 topics i will take four session three three topics one one day slowly slowly 
स्पोर्ट्स क्या होता है न्यूट्रिशनल आंथ्रोपोलॉजी क्या होता है डिफेंस में कैसे अप्लीकेशन होता है वन वन डे स्लोली स्पोर्ट्स सेक्टर डिफेंस सेक्टर न्यूट्रिशनल सेक्टर अप्लीकेशन विथ करंट एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई विल टेल यू इन स्पोर्ट्स सेक्टर इन अमेर इन ब्रिटेन देर इज ए प्रोग्राम कॉल्ड एस गर्ल कैन द प्रोग्राम नेम इज कॉल्ड एस गर्ल कैन वॉट इज दट आंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट गवर्नमेंट ऑफिसर स्पोर्ट्स कोच दिस थ्री पीपल विल बिकम ए ग्रुप एंड दे गो अक्रॉस द लंडन दे विजिट एवरी होम दे विल कॉल देयर डॉटर्स based upon the height and weight body mass index the anthropologist will recommend amma for you this five sports are suitable at the age of 6 years at the age of 6 years for you this sports is useful there will be a coach i want to do skating then the government will do funding teacher 6th class to 6 years no up to 12 years 6 years in at the center she will be getting skating free so 6 years to 12 years she will be learning skating based upon her body practically for body what sport is useful anthropology will recommend then the government will fund and the coach will give the training 12 years 13 years 14 years 15 years she will go to olympics and she will get like this they will be selecting the sports persons in australia in london in usa anthropologist will be part of the campaign applications For example, Saurya Paharya tribal community in Central India. They are very crazy for hockey, but their genetics they are very short. So their bat, their bat also local bat will be there, no villages that will be the bat for hockey. Kumodini Dandekar, one of the anthropologists with other anthropologists, they understood the Saurya Paharyas are doing very good in hockey. but in domestic way with a rubber ball in when we are children we used to have rubber ball with a rubber ball if it is fallen into the drainage who had better he should only take it and wash it so this anthropologists noticed and they trained them they are very much interested for their height they designed a separate hockey they also got national cup for national they also won the national challenge how anthropologists helped them so they evolved in sports sector similarly in every sector anthropology if they help they can do wonders applications of anthropology finish 12 units tell me the unit 1 unit 1 understanding of anthropology meaning scope and nature of anthropology 1 by 2 branches of anthropology number 3 relationship with other disciplines 1.2 1.3 1.4 pre darwinian darwinian and post darwinian 1.5 is primates 1.6 is phylogenetic status australopithecines homo erectus neanderthal homo sapiens 1.8 archaeology yes or no paleolithic mesolithic neolithic 2.1 culture 2.2 society 2.3 marriage 2.4 family 2.5 kinship third economic organizations fourth political organization fifth religion sixth anthropological thought seventh language eighth field work 9.1 pedigree analysis 9.2 mendelian 9.3 genetic polymorphism 9.4 genetical diseases 9.5 race and racism 9.6 genetic marker 9.7 ecological anthropology 9.8 epidemiological anthropology 10th unit growth and development 11th unit menarche and menopause 12th unit you should tell like this how i am you should become like me only teacher want on the complete earth the student should be like me whether chief minister want mla to become the chief minister he want seat no his seat should be permanently fixed to the seat chief minister doesn't want his karyakarta to become the chief minister why because it will be problem to him only only a teacher want his student to become like a teacher 12 units it should be on your tongue not answer it anyhow you will do it should be on your tongue also so what happen you know in the 3 hours it will run like anything it will run like anything it will run like anything everything should be on like a picture what you have to do you have to put the time you have to invest time you should not by heart you have to understand i didn't by heart did it you have to understand ah chronologically i will tell you how to understand also how to remember also some terms we will see 
acculturation these are the terms which are very very common so i am telling you acculturation means if i forcefully try to change your culture it is called as acculturation like for example aurangazeb had created jiji attacks to non muslims 2 by 3rd of the tax will be taken 2 by 3rd of the food grains will be taken as tax if you are non muslim a poor hindu what he will think are religion jaye baad mein religion jaye baad mein whatever religion whatever may be first me and my family member should be survive so what i will do i will change my religion my way of living my culture my religion by which i am changing because of conditions which are created i am changing that is called as acculturation enculturation nowadays every parent want his child to speak english like anything english became the trend the people who are speaking very good english without any brain also will think they are intelligent they are speaking how english english and intelligence are not same english and intelligence are not same but we believe that who are who is speaking very good english are intelligent 100% wrong but every parent want the child should learn english enculturation we are making them we are making them to learn the english by wish when i change my culture by wish it is called as enculturation when i change my culture by force it is called as acculturation adaptation i am adapting ecology hot temperature cold temperature high altitude when my body is adapting it is called as adaptation culture ecology culture is nothing but adaptation to the environment adaptation to the ecology is called as culture that concept is called as culture ecology assimilation mainstream people are telling to tribal people you tribal people come and join with mainstream but you forget about your culture you leave your culture and come and join like us it is called as assimilation whether i will be interested or not no i will be with you but why i should change my culture why i should change my way of life this is my naturality that process is called as integrational means whatever you are you come you join with us you be like you but join with us it is called as integrationalism very relevant tells it egalitarianism equal society tribal societies are egalitarian society equal equality prevails equity prevails culture relativism two cultures should not be relatedly compared is called as culture don't compare two cultures why because every culture is unique in its context a girl is there her father and mother are bureaucrats ias and ips she got first attempt or second attempt she got ias another girl is there her father is a farmer mother is illiterate homemaker and she got ias in sixth attempt who is great we should not compare first of all she is great in her context she is great in her context why she is great in it might be sixth attempt but her background is you might be in first attempt but her background is so every person have their own context every culture have their own it is called as culture relativism endogamy marriage within the group exogamy outside the group ethnography very i am an anthropologist if i am studying one particular tribal community in detail it is called as ethnography when i am comparing different different tribal communities and understanding it is called as ethnology comparison of tribal cultures is called as ethnology only one culture if i am studying it is called as simple societies means homogeneity complex society means heterogeneity heterogeneity means modern society tribal society homo everyone will be same or not every tribal society will be same homogeneous they will be there whether in tribal society one will be rich one other will be poor or everyone will be same level but in complex society heterogeneity will be there hindu muslim rich poor black white heterogeneity pastoralism means rearing animals animism worshiping of souls survival of the fittest for the sake of evolution who will survive the fit in the evolutionary process who will survive fit survival of the fittest australopithecines 5 million years ago 
Homo erectus 1.6 million years ago, Neanderthal 0.4 million years ago, Homo sapiens 40,000 years ago. From here erect posture, here cave living, here modern man. These are the terms which are there in paper. British colonial missionaries belongs to which category? Paper 2 it is, very, very relevant belongs to it. The Christianization in India is because of British colonial missionaries. That is it. Now, your plan should be by October 20, everything should be on the tip of the tongue, syllabus, concepts, anything, genetic polymorphism, this is genetic polymorphism. What Malnovsky told with respect to functionalism, this is all he told. What are the types of marriage? What are the regulations of marriage? What are the payments of marriage? What is consanguinity and affinity? What are the types of families based upon structure, based upon residence? We studied. This all we have to do in a proper structured format. Paper 1 we completed. For paper 1, I will take 150 hours of classroom sessions, 150 hours. My lecture goes like this, first I will start with 60 unit, perfectly we will do 60 unit, we will put lot of time on here. Then we will go to 7th unit, 8th unit. Then after paper 1, then I will go to paper 2. Why? Because anthropological thought is very important in paper 1. Tribal India is very important in paper 2. Then I will go to paper 2. 6, 7, 8, 9 I will complete. These are the most important. You should be perfect. Then I will come back to paper 1. Then I will do physical anthropology. Why? Because people are weak in physical anthropology. So, next I will come to physical anthropology module. 9th unit I will discuss. Then 10, 11 and 12th. Then I will go to paper 2. There I will do Indian society, second unit, third unit, fourth unit, fifth unit. Then I will come to anthropological paper 1. I will do second unit, third unit, fourth unit, fifth unit. Now, how many units are remaining? Paper 1, first unit, paper 2, first unit. So, paper 1, I will discuss evolution of man in general, evolution of man in India. Archaeology in general, archaeology in India. We will be relating and we will be going. Next class, we will give you PDFs, properly printed PDFs we will be giving from Monday. That PDFs, colored format brochures will be there. There are the complete syllabus, there are the complete pro forma, complete schedule will be there that you carry. Okay? So, we will meet again on Monday with lecture 1 and that lecture will be classical evolutionism. As I told, 7 to 8.30 will be the class, 8.30 to 8.45 will be the PYQs on that topic, then 8.45 to 9, doubt clearing session, before that I will take I will take one question and I will give you the structure, you have to write answer and you have to submit then and there, by the time whoever have the doubts they can ask me. So, others will be writing the answers, others will be asking me the questions. So, in that way daily answer writing practice will be happening and weekly test you will be having. Okay? When will be the textbooks will be? The textbooks will be given to those who paid 50 percent of the fees. Classes will be in the app. From now, we will be adding you in the app. From now, we will be adding in the app. From Monday onwards, all the classes will be with in your app we will be giving accessibility. Every person will be given one device. So, with that device you can watch or desktop also you will be given. In app, Vishnu IAS app you will be watching, which will be played in the mobile phone, which will be played in desktop, laptop, offline classes. Okay? By Saturday, everyone will be added into the app. Monday onwards, regular classes. TK, Anusha? Ah, yes. And all the information, all the PDFs already I provided. There is exclusive Telegram channel. There I will be posting. Whatever I posted, that will be posted by me only. 
no other person will be posting so which is i will not post all these things pdfs what is important only that will be posted in that particular telegram theek hai these are the two demo classes completed monday onwards class thank you